Hello everyone and welcome to a lockdown special Ibasic in the raw. Well, not quite, but I haven't even dressed up for this video. Normally, of course, my regular viewers will know I like to match my socks to the cleaner I'm unboxing and I like to put on a nice shirt. But today I'm in what I call my scruffs because this is going to be, I think, quite a dirty cleaner. Dirty. And um, that's why I've put this easy cleanable rug down because I'm not at home. I don't want to be dirtying up the carpet, you see. Behind me is that lovely, lovely brown Hoover dirt searcher that I unbox during Hoover week in this very spot. Very happy with that. Um, am I going to be as happy with this? I don't think so, somehow, but it's a project, folks. And I think it's a Hoover Constellation. I think. I hope. I hope it is. I'm a... Uh, yes, you might notice the odd bark and noise. I can't control my environment where I am at the moment. That's why, you know, it's either this or nothing at the moment, I'm afraid, folks. Thanks to the British government. It is what I thought it was going to be. Ta-da! Okay, this is a, a pink Hoover Constellation, and I used to have one of these, but the one I had, I'm sure, was in much better condition. This looked reasonable. It didn't look... Some, have you seen some of the Constellations people are trying to sell on eBay? Certainly in the UK. Complete rust buckets. I'm sure they could be restored, but... Right. Here we have, in quite poor condition, but you don't often see any sort of packaging with an old Hoover Constellation. Here we have a little holder for cleaning tools in a very sort of old-fashioned font. Hoover Constellation cleaning tools in an unusual blue roundel there. Oh, and a slightly darker blue one. That's probably faded. Um, oh! Here we have some bags. But they are not, they are not genuine. They are suitable for the Constellation and also the Hoover Portable. Now this has tool, extra tools in it which will be useful. These are pretty hard to get hold of if you're needing one of these Hoover flip over tools. I remember getting um, my mum's Hoover Freedom 750 had one of these, not a very good tool at all. But this one's in pretty good condition. It will clean up, I think, almost, almost mint. I could sell that on its own and I'd get quite a few bids because it's pretty sought after and hard to come by if you're in the need of one of these flip over tools. So that isn't appropriate for this cleaner. This, however, is. Look how dirty it is. Ooh, this is a, this is going to make a good project. Um, this is the nozzle that you would have got with this gen of Hoover Constellation. Again though, it is dirty, but it's not rusty. You've got a floating brush, which you can lock for hard floors with this uh, lever here. Floating for carpets. I mean, the rubber teeth are quite quite dirty but they're not too worn. I've had nozzles like this and the rubber teeth have been worn completely down and rollers at the front. So that is the correct nozzle for this Hoover Constellation. Lovely. So I put that there. Here we have a genuine but slightly broken Hoover all-purpose nozzle again with the rubber teeth. I'll just take the cleaner out itself. A genuine but used, of course, Hoover crevice tool. Unfortunately, the pip is missing. Yes, they've been a bit rough and the pip has come off. We have another non-gen and broken Hoover all-purpose brush. Instead of the rubber teeth, these non-genuine ones had these sort of I can see the dust coming off there. <laughs> this sort of nylon brush. But they were they were quite a good copy, I suppose. We have another crevice tool, 
with its pip, but it looks like it's been broken at the end. Deary me. Whoops. I don't know if any of these are salvageable. It's not like I can take the pip off this and stick it on the decent one. Then we have filthy, but that will clean. I'll soak that in biological washing powder and that'll come clean. I can separate the brush part. Lovely soft brushes. They're probably real bristle or whatever they used to use back in the day. Be careful. This should rotate. I'm not going to force it. I've always made the mistake. Well, I made a mistake once and you won't do it again. If these, these, this is supposed to rotate and I made the mistake of putting a wand in it and turning it and that just broke the pip off. So I think a soak in the washing powder and hot water will loosen it enough for me to be able to twist that. So never force those because you'll lose the pip. Right, we have oh, two hoses. Again, I was attracted to this cleaner because it had bits in it that I might be able to use. I don't know if they're both genuine. Uh, this definitely is, and I would say probably this is the hose for the machine. Look how dirty it is. This is going to look completely different once it's cleaned. But it is genuine because we've got the old Hoover. Can you see it with the just in the middle there? We've got the Hoover roundel and on the handle grip side. We've also got the quite stiff oof, suction control. It says Hoover as well, and that's intact. That's not broken. I've got a later constellation where that piece was broken and I was looking to possibly get a handle. I was thinking maybe I'll put this handle on that to restore that, but I'm not sure now. It depends how well I can clean this one up because I do think that this is original. But we have another hose. And I would say that this isn't original. The only thing that's original about this, I would say, is the elbow piece, the end piece. And they're hard to get hold of if you just want one of those. But the thing is, I could get a hose from a Hoover tool kit, maybe a senior tool kit, and fit it to here and it'd be a bit more appropriate. This is fairly short as well and it's broken too at the end and there's no hoover branding so i think the, this hose isn't genuine but i think that part possibly is i think it is okay good old bubble wrap let's uh, unravel this lovely lovely hoover constellation now the Hoover Constellation is a vacuum cleaner that many, many people recognise, even people who aren't interested in vacuum cleaners. It's the Constellation and like the likes of the junior and senior with a headlight, especially people will say in, in, uh, on Facebook when people post pictures of these old cleaners, oh yes, my mum had one of those and oh, I was really scared of it and blah, blah. But the next most popular cleaner that people remember is this because Back in the day, it was pretty unusual. It certainly would have stood out in your average electricity showroom because it's round, of course, and it floats on a cushion of air. Let's hope it survived. I mean, it's all metal. Ah, oh, the handle seems to have had a repair. That's a shame. But occasionally Hoover Constellation handles do turn up on eBay. Right. Oh. Here we have it. Ooh, I shouldn't really force that. No, I won't. Hang on. They've wrapped this cable around very tightly. I wouldn't have done that. This cable is original, which is another reason why I went for it. This is as much original as I could see. And I don't think I paid a lot of money. I think I had, oh, it was a buy it now. That was it. It was a buy it now. So I didn't even bid on it. Right. Now this is the matching pink cable. 
I'm going to get a wet wipe and I'll show you <laughs> I'll show you the true true color of this but it is it is the correct cable for this machine which is good it looks it looks intact it doesn't seem to have suffered any damage but here is the poor cleaner itself and yes it looks much as I expected it to look it's quite rusty not too bad underneath I've seen far worse there are rust marks down here I mean it's going to be cleaned up I'll tea cut it I'll polish it but I'm not going to attempt to repaint it because you'll never get this same color I wouldn't have thought and I'm no good at spraying paint on things <laughs> back when I was a, a mere child I remember getting one of these I found it at the tip I think or the local dump you might call it and um, I painted it but with a brush it looked awful <laughs> and I ended up throwing it away but back in those days these were pretty common people were still using them in the houses okay I'll just get a quick give it a quick wipe I might just tea cut a slight section of the top of this while I'm doing it we might as well have a nice little relaxing chatty video today because I'm very lonely as some of you might be <laughs> during lockdown right let's go and get me wet wipes well, as you know, I'm not at home, so I don't have my full cleaning arsenal with me, but I did buy a few bits. Um, I got some more auto glim polish because it was on a, a lightning deal on Amazon. So I got that delivered and also bought some Brasso because I couldn't get any tea cut. And if you haven't got any tea cut, Brasso is very similar in the way it works. It will remove a lot of dirt, but it also can remove a very, very fine layer of paint. So you have to be careful using Brasso and tea cut and I've just got these wipes as well for initial quick clean and some cloths obviously this is going to need a thorough clean um, cream cleaner such as SIF or GIF if you're old enough to remember GIF is good for a uh, cable this is ribbed as well so it's harder to clean and the smooth cables just going to use these nicely apple scented whites just just to see if we can reveal the true color as beautiful as a rainbow as Cindy Lauper sung didn't she it is very satisfying folks to get a dirty dirty vacuum I was very lucky with that uh, dirt search I didn't need a lot doing this needs a lot more doing to it but when you can take a, a vacuum that looks like it's only fit to go to the tip and you spend some loving time and care and affection <laughs> on it you will see that you can make it look not always brand new but quite near can you see now look the difference just a little bit of rubbing with just this look you see the dirt just that little piece there and the thing is what if people who are selling these vacuums most people who sell old vacuums unless they're collectors don't know what they've got and they don't bother attempting to have any you know they don't attempt to wipe it over or anything I would I won't be surprised if be, I've been sent some dirt as well if the sellers were to spend a little bit of time just cleaning it they don't have to you don't even have to open it up they don't have to know anything about vacuums or electrical items they can just spend some time an hour or so giving it a good clean and they'll find that they'll get more money for it so there I'll, that's just just in a couple of minutes I've been talking to you how clean that cable is and that will get even cleaner there's a plug on which isn't age appropriate because it's got insulated pins but it's a plug nonetheless you can clean up the plugs you know you can go to town you can really go to town and get things looking much much better so with this cleaner itself because this is metal this will respond well to um, the Brasso and the uh, Auto Glim again I'm not going mad unfortunately sometimes cleaning reveals it's in worse condition than you thought it would be just going to do one half actually just do one half I mean this is nothing to what it needs doing I'm just showing you very briefly often I you know I like to give my vacuums a bit of a wipe before I show you it in detail because they're so dirty I don't want to get too dirty this um, bumper 
that will come off and that, that will benefit from a soak again in biological washing powder but it will need cleaning as well a bit of um, cream cleaner the teacup will work on this as well brasso will work always test a small area when you're using any sort of cleaner you don't want to be damaging your vacuum making it worse this is going to take a lot to get this uh, this bumper clean but just wiping it improves matters you can already see you can see my lights in it now it's more rusty on the top than I thought I mean it's possible after lockdown I might be able to take this to somewhere and they'll professionally spray it for me it's possible that that you know I, I'll have to see the top you could probably color match the top easier than the bottom but I'll, I'll have a look you never know if this cleaner is worth saving and not just for spare parts then it might be worth seeing how much somebody will charge just to respray the body because it's easy enough for me to take the motor out and everything so there we are I've just done half look and again the handle cream cleaner on the plastic there yeah this is pretty bad but I've seen I've seen far worse than this as long as it works while I'm underneath giving it a oh it's filthy look we'll have a look at the rating plate it's a proper a proper rating plate rather than a little sticker proper metal this is the earliest constellation I've got now in my collection I, I have to say I prefer the later versions I prefer the 70s models really and I'm lucky enough to have a couple of very good condition one almost mint 70s constellation and I've even got that lovely celebrity as well a mint in the box celebrity which is the squashed version of the Hoover constellation okay that'll do for that let's have a look at this rating plate this one is by appointment to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II suppliers of vacuum cleaners the Hoover cleaner 225 to 250 volts AC DC 0 to 60 cycles 580 watts rating 9 the serial number is 290464 not sure how to date this particular one I'm sure somebody will tell me I don't know if that's 1964 perhaps anyway protected by patents registered designs and trademarks in Great Britain and the principal countries of the world model 862 complying with BS 1645 double insulation made by Hoover Limited Great Britain and you'll also see on the base of the cleaner obviously this is where the exhaust air vents but it's also where if I can reach over for you folks it's also where you can attach the hose for blowing and now I've attached the hose I can see that it's split and is likely to split some more that's a shame because that is ah uh, is it yeah that's what I think is a genuine hose you can shorten these hopefully I only have to shorten it by a little amount but once they start a split in mm, a lot of these you see with big black tape on them don't you let's do a bit of uh, brasso try and get an older cloth is an older cloth for the brasso whoops oops <laughs> oh dear quick it's a good job I've got it on this old rug that was that was runnier than I was th thinking oh it smells as well as brasso folks yeah I've spilt it on the rug look should come off um where's the lid just had it oh <laughs> I'll just put it there and hopefully I don't uh, knock it over just do a quick going over here look I say this this really could do with repainting sorry my mother's now decided to talk to the dogs so I'll try and speak over her um was she on uh, she's probably on Skype anyway that's 
probably the best I'm going to get so far. Oh, here's the lid. So basically you're supposed to leave it to dry to a haze and then um, buff it up with a, another cloth, cleaner cloth, a different cloth. I mean, it's already, the bits that aren't damaged are looking better now. I can see it. I can see a bit of a shine, look. You can see a bit of a shine where my lights are reflecting. This will look better once it's all done, but it's not gonna look pristine. You know how I like my vacuums to look pristine. And the only way of getting this old girl to look pristine is a complete spray, respray, I think. So that's that. And then what I'd do, normally I said I'd use teacup. Well, normally I'd clean it thoroughly. Then I would teacut, um, then I would polish and then I'm experimenting with some other waxes as well to do after polishing so this is the auto glim this is the car polish meant for car bodywork but I also use this as another tip I also use this on my white goods on my washer on my dryer on my fridge freezer dishwasher all things like that I occasionally give a good wax coating to Gives them a, a nice finish, helps protect them. And again, if I had time, I'd wait for that to dry off a bit. And you can keep adding layers, you know. You don't just have to do one. Keep adding layers. What I'll do though, I'll, I will wait for it to dry a bit and we'll have a look inside, see what horrors lurk within. There might be something dead in here. Here's the metal catch. Oh, not, not too bad. It is missing here. Mm, it smells quite pleasant, actually. It's missing here the... Um, it should have a rubber seal thing. Again, we have non-gen bags. They look, they look smaller than the originals. That looks like the genuine metal bag clip, though, which is good. Quite a filthy, filthy filter. You can wash those. Um, shall we have a look inside, folks? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Do you want to see inside? Yes? How, right, just stick your hands up, please, and I'll count. Oh, right, no, I've looked. Okay, I will, because I've, I've seen plenty of hands up. I can see you, you know, it's amazing. Through the magic of YouTube, I can see what you're doing. Put some clothes on. Right, I'm just going to undo it. One, two, three, four. Normal crosshead screws, and we'll reveal the innards of this Hoover Constellation. Right, again I'm going to have to speak up so you can't hear the private conversations of my, oh dear, of my mother. Um, that's not going to work very well. I'm going to need a smaller doobry on there. I thought I'd selected the correct whatchamacallit. I think I'll need a smaller or a bigger one. Oh, that is a smaller one. Oh heck. <laughs> I think the bigger one, well, we'll try the bigger one, you never know. Might have been the bigger one I needed. It's not shifting. Oh, there we go, just a bit of pressure. I bet this will stink, you know. I don't know why my mother needs to shout on Skype. Uh, anyway, right, oof, there we are. One more, folks, and we'll reveal what's inside here, which isn't a lot, to be honest. Just a very simple, but efficient and reliable motor. Because even the, the machines you see like this that are covered in rust, you can often get them working. You can, right. Ooh, is it... S I don't think it wants to come out easily, folks. I'm just going to, when I finish this video, this is just going to have to go back in its box and put away for the time being, because I've got a lot more to do. But it will be a project. I think it's wanting to lift the motor out with, with the top. Uh, it's filthy. I'm trying to get, it's well, well jammed in there, folks. It should come away. Oh, I'll take the filter off. Oh, that's seized up as well. What a mess. Oh. I have got a spare filter, but it's not genuine. 
All this is, look out, that's how it should look. This is just like a felt material. You can just make your own if you get, you know, if you've got an original. Get yourself a, a big compass or just, just draw around it. It doesn't want to come away. I don't really want to get my hands too mucky. It's a good job I haven't changed for this video. Oof. I know folks, what I could possibly do is give it a poke. I didn't break skin. Stop laughing. I broke, oh heck, I didn't know that. I didn't know that came off. <laughs> Ow! There you go. There. Well, at least it's <laughs> it's done what I wanted it to do. That looks that'll look new inside, of course. That's what I would like it to look like on the outside one day, but uh, it's unlikely. Look at that. That's the colour, folks. That's the colour and finish we'd expected when we went into to the shop with our hubby and said, Cedric, I want a new holder. I'll have that one. I've seen it on the television. It floats on air, floats on a cushion of air. It floats with you through housework. And hubby will say, oh, it's 18 pounds. I'm not buying that. Then wife will say, well, if you don't buy that, you'll need no more meat and potatoes for tea. I'm downing tools, and that's not all you'll be missing out on. So then the husband would reluctantly sign the higher purchase form, and wifey would go home with her lovely new Hoover constellation, and they should have a tea party to show all her jealous friends and neighbours. That really hurt. I'm surprised they're not bleeding profusely. Must be made of stronger stuff than I thought. Here is, here is the motor, folks. Can you see it? And let's have a look. This doesn't have, and I don't know if this would have had. Please comment below. Now, later ones would have had a diffuser here. I know you didn't get a diffuser in, in the American versions because some American collectors have commented, but on uh, later versions, there was a plastic diffuser that fitted over here and it had a sponge in that often perished. I also think it was another safety feature because I suppose it is possible to poke something through those holes and touch the electric motor if you were that way inclined. And having the plastic cover and diffuser stopped you doing that. So I'm not sure if it's been removed or it's didn't wasn't fitted. This does have, <laughs> there look, the dreaded suppressor, the awful ticking time bomb. I mean, it looks, looks all right. I suppose with the clean like this, if they do blow, it shouldn't cause too much damage. Most of the, um, the fallout from one of these blowing should be retained inside the cleaner. Look, just wiping it now, look, can you see all the dust? These motors can be stripped down completely and refurbished. I think you can still buy some parts for these. The um, motor brushes, possibly the bearings. Yeah, that's that's a well-worn, well-used cleaner. And it also doesn't have, on the later ones, there is a layer of plastic um, to give a bit of extra, you know, insulation between the electrics and the metal body. Because these weren't earthed, these cleaners, because they're double insulated. They don't have an earth, and yet they are a metal-bodied vacuum. So, um, excuse me. No, I just can't resist giving it a bit more of a wipe before turning it on. To hopefully limit the amount of dust that's going to fly out of the bottom of this cleaner. But there you go, you get the idea. Just give it a get out as much muck in as I can. I should have really bought a cloth to dry it with. I don't want to switch this on when it's damp. Oh, I'll just use one of these cloths. There we are. 
some of you might be happy just to re just to clean up your vacuum just as quickly as I'm doing it, but it's a labour of love to to dismantle one of these. I've got quite a few projects that I need to start doing. I'll never be bored, that's for sure, folks. I'll never be bored with with a pile of vacuums in need of refurbishment. So, you know, that'll, that'll do. I should have had another vacuum to suck out the bits, but I've mucked about too much. Anyway, some of you might have, might have been interested to see inside. You've probably seen inside one before, but it doesn't hurt to, to have another look. Let's make sure that's on properly. Must make sure that's in place. Not only does that secure the motor, but it also forms insulation between the metal motor and the metal body of the cleaner. And it'll only go in one way. That's it. And that's the motor in place. Yep, yeah, that's fine. That goes on that way. Look, <laughs> this really is a, a mucky video today. It's filthy. You know, I like to present to you lovely new vacuums as well, don't I? It's also fun, I think, to show you vacuums that are completely unloved, completely forgotten about. This is probably dumped somewhere for years, I suspect. Could have been dumped in a loft, in a garage, in a shed. But it's got its time in the sun again because it's managed to appear on my channel. So there's always hope for the unloved and unwashed to get their debut on iBasic. There we are. I'm not going to tighten them up all. You just tighten all the screws roughly. You don't tighten up one completely and then go to the other. You always do it evenly. Something I've always remembered from my dad when doing screws up. Just evens them out nicely. Once you've got them all so they're touching the metal, then you can go round and tighten up. This screw head is a bit big for these, but it wasn't shifting. This is all going to come apart again anyway, so I don't have to be too bothered. But Well, folks, I can't really switch this machine on without attempting to clean that a bit. So I'll just get another vacuum out and just try and get some of the dust off this filter. a bit better isn't it it'll do for now that, that needs a good clean that's a bit of brasso on that it's corroded a bit isn't it these are always awkward you've got to open up the uh, circle I always used to spend ages being a bit OCD only a bit trying to get them even completely even all the way around that's not too bad 
that'll do. That'll suffice. I'll just shove this old bag in. This non-gen bag. We'll pop that in. And then we can close the old cover up. And now we can get the clean microfiber cloth and just buff off the little bit of car polish I put on. As I said, sometimes cleaning and polishing a vacuum can reveal a beautiful, almost mint vacuum underneath. At other times, it can reveal all the many, many flaws and dents and rust marks that have been covered up by the dirt. And this is what's happened in this case. I mean, look, it's still a lot nicer and a lot smoother, but yeah, you're never gonna get this looking perfect. But it'll do, it'll do. Another thing that's perished is, that's gone very hard, is the uh, strain relief. I've got another one I can put on in white. It won't quite match, but it'll, it'll do. It's a Hoover one anyway. Well, folks, here's the on-off switch. I can't remember what's on and which is off. This is one I'm gonna do at a distance. And not only am I going to do this at a distance, I'm going to move my precious Uber Dirt Searcher well out of the way <laughs> in case uh, it decides to blow up. Well, that sounds fine. It sounds a lot better than it looks. One thing I didn't point out, and you may, be, may have noticed, is uh, there are no extension ones. We had uh, all the other bits, but no ones. But the good thing is, just a day or two after I bought this, I was on eBay, and I saw someone selling some assorted Hoover tools which included two wands and some other bits and pieces, um, possibly a crevice tool that will be intact and possibly an all-purpose nozzle. I can't remember, but I really wanted it for the two wands. So I've got two wands coming for this machine. So I'd be able to... Uh... <laughs> oh. Now, I don't know if that's the vacuum smelling or my mum's just lit the uh, log burner downstairs. <laughs> ah. Well, all in all, I think I've got what I expected to get. I'm just going to unplug, folks. There we go. Obviously a cleaner that's uh, in dire need of some love and attention. Oh, look. I haven't put the... The bag has actually moved a bit. I think that's hope that rubber seal that should be fitted does help secure the bag in place as well as helping to seal it. Now you saw when I opened the machine the handle was tightly, very tightly wrapped around the handle and I think that is the official way you'd store them as far as I can remember because the handle was designed it's got this little sticky out bit here so it was designed to have the cable wrapped around it but for storage and in future I find that there's less strain on the cable if you just wrap it round the bottom of the cleaner and then you haven't got such sharp you know angles because this is where the insulation can break and the, the connector the, the actual cable inside can develop a short 
So any vacuum, always wrap the cable loosely around any cable hooks supplied. But this one's going to be put away until I can get, get some time to clean it. This will be put away and stored with the cable around the base there. But all in all, you know, I'm not over the moon by this one. I'm not disappointed either. It's just a sort of a meh. <laughs> but it's nice to have a pink one, an older version. But uh, yeah, as you can see, it still needs, well, it needs a lot of work doing to it before this looks like it should really. I'll keep my eyes out because I'm sure that that handle is broken there. But it's still an icon as far as I'm concerned, a classic, one of the classic Hoover cleaners. And one I think that everyone should have in their collection. They're still fairly common, but they are getting harder to find. Parts are obsolete. You can still get the odd part if you look on eBay. But they can be fixed, we can rebuild her. She will float and clean again, but as you can see, she did float and she has suction. It's just mainly cosmetic with this cleaner. That's it. I hope you've enjoyed this more relaxed video. I think it's because I'm wearing my uh, casual clothes. I'm less uptight. I'm just, I'm chilling. I'm chilling on lockdown with the Hoover Constellation. I'll see you all very soon for the next video. If you've any comments or questions about the Hoover Constellation, the cleaner that walks on air, please comment below. And I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now.